Whenever you stop an EC2 instance, you run the risk of giving up your IP address and getting a new one generated. That can cause a lot of problems with DNS mappings and other technologies. So if you ever wanted to learn how to make that permanent, get an address that sticks with your instance no matter what, well, stay tuned and I'll show you how. Now the main process here is that Amazon expects machines to be temporary so they don't keep IPs for very long. But if that's how you're going to be using it, it's important that we assign what's called an elastic IP address. I've got an example right here of an Ubuntu server that I spun up in AWS or inside of EC2, and it's been given a public IP address. That IP is down here in the bottom corner. Mine got 52.204.148.50. But that IP is only temporarily mine. If I were to stop this instance, I would give that IP address up immediately, and the next time I start the instance, I'll have a new IP address. So to prevent that from happening, on the left side here, I'm going to go down to the Elastic IP section right here, Elastic IPs. And I'm going to allocate a new Elastic IP address. This will be a public IP that's attached to my account. Once it's attached to my account, no other Amazon customer will get this IP. It's attached to me until I choose to give it up, regardless of whether an instance is actually using it. So I got 34.232.115.222. I can close this input here, and then after that, I can choose that new IP that I just generated. There's the Elastic IP. I can go up top to Actions, and I can choose to associate the address. And I'm going to associate that with an instance. I'll pick that Ubuntu instance that I just mentioned. So I'll pick it right here. And on the instance, it actually has a private IP that the public IP gets mapped to. So I just need to pick which one. Well, if it's a standard instance, there will only be one, so it's hard to make a mistake here. But if you have more than one network adapter attached to the instance, you'll need to pick the appropriate IP to map to. That would really happen if you were doing like a firewall or a router type instance uh, inside of AWS. So I'm going to get that set up. There is a little bit of protection here that stops you from accidentally reassigning the IP to another host. So you could turn that on if you want, uh, or you can leave it off. Actually, turning this on, if I check it, makes it easier for me to give up my address to another host by accident. Leaving it unchecked is the safer option. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll hit this Associate button down here at the bottom, and that's what's going to actually go in and attach that to the instance. So once that's done, in the background, Amazon is already attached. It happens very fast. So if I go up here to my instances again, and I look at that Ubuntu instance, instead of the IP that it had when I started, if I look down here, it now has 34.232.115.222. And the nice part about this is, if I stop the instance, it still has that IP, it keeps it. It's now permanent to this machine until I choose to give it up. Now, all of this is done free of charge. Amazon knows that you need at least one IP so they don't charge for it. But if you stop the instance while it's stopped, you will be charged. It's a very, very small amount. They don't charge much for it, but there is a charge. As long as the machine is running, it's free. So if you know you need a machine long-term and you want it to keep the same IP address, then make sure you assign an elastic IP. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that segment. If you want to learn more about AWS, Linux, really any IT topic, be sure to check out our site, itpro.tv. We cover a wide range of IT technologies and certifications. You can learn about Linux, Windows, Mac OS, uh, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, whatever technology you can think of. We have an amazing security track to check out, all available on itpro.tv. I hope to see you there.